Hello, this is Matti. Hey, why don't we do another immortal guitar lesson today? The song for this time will be Solar Fall, which is a pretty groovy song. It's a different vibe than the last one, or the, the opening track. It's a little bit more groovier and a lot, lot more double bass. We're still gonna do some tremolo picking, but not that much. But hey, let's get straight into it. And the first thing, the first riff is um, you have to be kind of ready for it because there's no count in for this if you want to do it properly. The drums just go do 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 do, and then that's your count in. So. build up for for some tension for the next part and this is something that i often see tap, taps that are horrible mess uh the way it, way i hear it as at least it goes like this there's an 
option you can also do. If that's more suited to your plain ergonomics, you can try that. And once the drums start rolling again, you have to kind of keep keep really well locked with the bass drum. It's gonna serve you well. <laughs> this the feeling of the song is like like a I don't know maybe six eight is that not a drummer sorry um but then there's <laughs> it's like a mid-tempo rolling double bass feel but then all hell breaks loose and the drummer really has to work for the next part so make sure you get it right, so they don't work for nothing, um, or that their work doesn't go to waste because they they start really ramping up the speed of the double bass, and you go. feeling for this part kind of all the other leading parts to this are like like I said like no 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 kind of adventurous rolling free open but for that line get the kind of um I don't know triumphant majestic feeling a couple of repeats of those parts but we'll go through the riffs uh, for the next part you need a clean sound my setup isn't perhaps most suited for this uh, but I'll try my best using the volume pot to clean it <laughs> itself it's F like take an F power chord and then add an uh, D D to it so you get and a G minor I guess but you alternate like and then it goes back to F again and then there's a variation of the E, e minor thing. Performance-wise, 
the tempo drops just a little bit so it's a little bit more calm section and then the next part is gonna be again like a little little bit more majestic and also when you're switching out of here to do it live you do the big scrape like so you can get get it in time for the next part so for the transition I'm trying to do it it's a little bit hard with the volume control I'm, I'm supposed to have a foot switch for the clean tone but here goes so again, search for majestic triumphant feeling and the riff is a little bit more complicated but remember they're using those partial chords, partial minor and major chords to achieve a minor feeling so, and some power chords so. that's easy enough so that's F sharp E and then tempo it's not really drastic change but there's a so really noticeable change in the feeling of it because it relaxes just a little bit for the clean sound and then after the clean part something pretty <laughs> pretty epic happens get there's a interesting riff that goes like this. Middle part. <laughs> 
when you come back to this part, there's well, it's the same riffs again, but there's just a really neat hook when you go back to the verse. It doesn't stop, but instead it does. with a couple of cool tricks up their sleeve. Yeah, performance-wise, advice is be ready for the intro. It's no count in just just the tom field and you pick up right there. That's the most effective way to start the song. Get the feeling Get the swing, swing feeling of it um, down. So if you do it wrong, this can feel pretty stiff compared to the original version. If you if you listen to Hark's drumming, especially, it's really loose and groovy, and you should strive to achieve that feeling. At least, at least I think so. It's really cool. And and he does really tasty, tasty feels every now and then. This is. This is like perfect, perfect drumming for the for the track, and you should kind of strive to support that great, great feeling with your guitar playing. Um, try to keep like a the tone like a little bit punky, a little bit rock and roll, I guess. So not not too. Not too sticky or staccato. I I don't know how to explain. So that would be the opposite of what what I try to achieve when I play. I I do it more loose. Like. Degrading into silliness. Um, so I think that's it. 
uh, I hope you liked the video. I hope uh, you can now start learning this song and and having fun with it. It's a really great album with lots of bangers in it. And I don't know, maybe we'll do another track in the future. Until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.